Hello. <laughs> so I'm actually going to continue recording today since I have makeup on. Um, and I'm going to do an unboxing for Goddess Provisions. This is the September box and it came on my birthday. So birthday basic. Yay. <laughs> um, I do need scissors. Sorry. Okay. Open it up. I almost stopped myself. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. And I'm gonna go just item by item, I guess. Once I get the card, because the card will tell me what it is. Ooh, it smells so good in here. I have to take everything else because the card is. I feel like the card was on the top last time, but. the art they always have a um, an artist of the month it's actually upside down sorry so we featured two special artists this month this is erica pang.art on instagram or erica pang.com and midwest underscore mermaid or midwest mermaid.com so i believe i don't know if they both did it together but sometimes they normally have one artist but this is really pretty I might actually keep Actually, normally I keep them and I just put them somewhere. This one looks like I can like frame it because it's real cute. Okay, so and then it opens up into a card. So monthly mantra: I embrace the winds of change and rise up to reach my highest potential. I like that. This is actually really good timing for me because everything's changing for me right now, and I'm allowing it to happen. I'm bringing it in. So I'll say it one more time. I embrace the winds of change and rise up to reach my highest potential. So that's the little artwork that came with it. And um, and then if you've never heard of Goddess Provision, they are vegan. They have vegan, cruelty-free, full-size products. Um, and it says for every box sold, we plant a tree with trees.org, which I do love. And they also say your boxes card was made using 100% recycled material, which I do appreciate as well. So if you're interested in it, I will have my referral link down below. This is not sponsored by them. I'm just, if you'd, if you'd like any of these, um, I think you could buy previous boxes, but I think when if you enroll, you'll get the next box. So let, let's go down for what is in front of me, actually. So this is the Hedge Witch Apothecary wild is the tea wind tea the wind delivers messages and clues as to what will come sip on a warm cup of this herbal blend and awaken your senses and sit back to observe how the wind guides the clouds and the trees so this is about an eight dollar value and they always give like a coupon too if you do like it you can buy it again so this is a loose tea which i do have like loose i think i have loose tea bags i have a little ball like a little stainless steel ball it has red clover, if you didn't read it on the screen, red clover, linden, peppermint, lavender, lemon, verbena, and star anise. So it's about one ounces, one teaspoon. It's a long sleeping time, 15, almost 15 minutes. So maybe I'll try this today because my throat hurts. <laughs> um, next thing that's in front of me, got a restorative herbal body oil. Well, this one I was actually excited for, for um, my boyfriend, Jason, because uh, his crystal for his ascendant sign, he's a Leo ascendant. Leo ascendant? Yeah, he's Leo ascendant. Is citrine, and this has citrine in it. So I was like, ooh, you can use this here. Let's see that better. Focusing, focus. Okay, so I'm going to hold that. I'm not going to hold that, because this one's actually hurting my arm for some reason. Maybe because I'm holding it weird. So that one, so this one, I'm just holding it in my head. Um, characterized by the mobile nature of wind energy. Bata is characterized, sorry, I missed the word. This blend of restorative herbs, grounding scents, and citrine gem essence will help balance the dry nature of the Bata season, um, which I believe is like fall. I think so. Applying this hydrating oil all over your body, paying special attention to your joints. Maybe this should go on my shoulder because my joints are messed up there. But um, I'm probably also going to put it on my the bottom of my feet because that's also a really good place to put it. 
what's next to me? I dropped the card. Hello. Ooh. Mystical Blossoms Breathe Inhaler. You are constantly interacting with air through the breath. Use this inhaler made with invigorating essential oils to open your sinuses for breath work practices. Simply place near your nostril and breathe in. This is a $7 value. I'm going to actually open it right now because my nose is having problems, even though I'd rather use this for actual, like, like, a, like they said, breath work or something, but I want to know. I want to know what's up with it. So it's this little inhaler tube. Oops, I think it's plastic. I don't know if they recycle these or something. It doesn't say. Anyways. Um, oh, it says cold sinus allergies, headache relief, and portable stress relief. Then I can use it right now. I'm not going to stick it in my nose on camera because that's awkward, but I'm just going to smell it. Oh, it's a, it's a twisty. I'm sorry to pull it out. It smells like a lot of peppermint. Yeah, it smells like a lot of peppermint. Like I said, I'm not going to jam it in my nose right now, but I will later. Next. Now, even though they say they use recycled stuff, they do use plastic for some things, which kind of, I don't know. I kind of, I keep, I try to keep these little baggies because if I need to ship anything or something, at least I can reuse it. Ooh, that smells strong. Ooh, I like it. I don't know what it is, but it smells strong. Um, it's, it just says air. It's backwards, sorry. It says air. Um... Anyways, they have to do that or else they'll, they'll break, I guess. Element Botanical Air Aromatherapy. The air element is associated with the mind, intellect, clarity, and positivity. Add a few drops of this essential oil blend featuring lemon. That's why I like it. I like lemony scents. Um, neural? Neuroli? No, I don't know. Cardamom to your diffuser, facial steam, or mix with the carrier oil for any DIY skincare creations to clear your mind and welcome positive thoughts. Uh, I will say for this one, I'm not sure about this one. No, this one looks fine, I think, but I'm not sure. I'll read this one in a second. But this one, since it has lemon, do not put it on you and go outside. It is uh, photo sensitive, so you can actually get burned by it. So this would be something that I would only use if I'm going to be inside or I'm going to use it on something that's going to be covered um, or I would only use it in my diffuser. Most likely only in my diffuser because I'm a little wary of putting lemon on, especially my skin because I'm a little lighter. Um, I don't want to get burned. So just keep that in mind. Even with a carrier oil, you can get burned with lemon oil. Now this one also has oils, but I don't think it has, I don't think any of these are photosensitive. You can cross check that if you want. It has chamomile, frankincense, and lavender. Ooh, that smells heavy. That, that sounds heavenly. Let me smell this one actually. This is the one that I was thinking about putting on my feet, and now I really want to because it has all those calming stuff. I cannot open packages for life. I can't open packages. I can't open envelopes. I can't open things. You can give me an envelope like opener which I do have and I still somehow mess it up okay so it's vacuum sealed I have to cut it so it is in a box but it does come in plastic if that's gonna bother you okay so this is how the bottle looks Okay, so you have to pump it a few times. <laughs> Try and still, I'm still, I'm still going. Oh, I got something. Okay, so just FYI, don't do that. It just like went all over my face. It smells woodsy, but not because of the frankincense. I don't know what. It's not the smell I expected. It's not bad, it's just not what I expected. Like, I don't know why I expected. Oh, I think it's the chamomile. 
because chamomile does smell different than you expect it to smell. Um, yeah, I smell all three of them. Chamomile, frankincense, and lavender. Yeah, I definitely will put this on my feet because I don't really like it on my hands or anything. Um, <sighs> sometimes I like chamomile, sometimes I don't. Um, right now I do not. So, put this on my hands. Breathe it in. <laughs> okay, back on track. What else do I have? This one is another little baggie. I'm trying not to tear so I can reuse it if I need to. Oh, I popped one. Okay. It's an elixir. Also in a so sometimes they do have to put things in extra plastic because people have given them feedback in the past that in transit these things break all over everything else. So, okay, but I could probably use that for something. So it's good medicine, intuitive skincare. I like that. That's kind of cool. Um, loaded with activated oxygen O3, this formula will breathe a new life into your skin by increasing circulation while combating bacteria, fungus, and microbes. Place six to eight drops into your palms and gently press into your skin, giving extra love to the problem areas. This one's a $34 value. So this alone covers the entire box, which I don't think I mentioned. The box is $33 a month if you're on subscription, and it's cheaper if you pay ahead for like six months or something. But this alone is covers the whole box. Um, it's very interesting. It's hemp seed oil with activated oxygen, castor oil, black seed oil, jojoba oil, rosehip oil, evening primrose, argan, and prickly pear, carrot seed, cucumber seed, vitamin E, T50, patchouli, geranium, and frankincense. And I think they're all organic or mo mostly are organic. It doesn't actually have instructions on the bottle itself, which is interesting. So I might actually go to the website to get more information. Um, but that's super interesting. I actually want to smell it too. Just let's smell everything. If you had smell a vision, you'd be able to, no? Is it, was that bad? Ooh, it smells like hemp oil. With, I don't know what. Um, I don't know if I like this, but it, you know, not all skincare smells good. I smell a lot of different, like every time I smell, uh, the, the two times I smelled it every time. It's like so many layers of things happening. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this one or any of them, actually. Um, this one, I'm just confused. Okay. And this one I was actually very excited about, but now I'm concerned. Sometimes they, so as much as I do love this box, they do kind of fib on the size of the crystals that they're giving. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's definitely not the size. If I if I figure out how I post a picture right here about like the, the, what they post about the crystal. This is a smoky quartz, which is one of my favorite crystals. Um, Mine broke. So I was going to show you. I was like, where's mine? It broke. Um, I do have another one, but it's currently charging. <laughs> charging. It's on my amethyst. Um, so I don't know if I can do a side by side. Here's mine. Here's the other one again. Editing. I, I believe in myself. Okay. So this is Smoky Quartz. It's actually kind of small. Um, I mean, compared to what they're showing that was coming and this side looks good and then this side's all kind of weird. So that happens every now and then. Um, the first box I ever got actually my crystal was broken. So they're really good at resending them if they're actually broken. This one just looks like it's supposed to be that way, which is kind of weird, but crystals are crystals and I like all of them. So I just don't like that it looked a lot bigger. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy to have this. 
because I will never probably get enough smoky quartz. And I'll put that down right now. My head started to hurt. I think the smell of all of all the all the things. Oh, I should do a migraine update. I know some people follow me because of my Cephaly device, which I don't use anymore, but I can do a migraine update. My migraines actually, they're not as bad and, or they're not as often. Let me know, comment below and I can do that if you're watching this because that's how you found me. So this, it's a wind chime. wind chime in the sign of the air sign yeah right yeah kind of um this is really pretty i have no idea where to put this <laughs> you have literally no idea i mean i do have a hook right here i don't think i'll do much there i'll figure it out um i'm gonna read the insert and then i'll read what it came with this rustic bell was handmade with recycled metal by fair trade Indian artisans to represent the element of air. Hanging outside your, your door, window, or in your favorite natural sanctuary as a reminder of that. Like the divine, air is all around you, yet impossible to see. This is $24 value. Bell making is an ancient Indian craft with enchanting origins, traditionally used by farmers to identify their livestock. Each bell is hand-tuned to produce a distinctive chime. Made from recycled metal, artisans from the desert region hand-shaped from the desert region hand-shaped bell, bells and coat them in powdered brass and copper before firing. Each rustic bell is then tuned to reveal a rich, unique sound like no other bell. Hmm. It's a unique bell. Those are all the products. I'll pop in how much everything was worth all together here. And they also had this digital bonus, which I personally have a problem with in a lot of different ways. Um, if you've been watching any of my past videos, you know that I'm vegan. I I try not to buy things that are not vegan and I try not to put my money where things that are not vegan or like vegan friendly or whatever. Um, I know like I buy like Starbucks, Oreos and whatever. I'm not like, I'm not gonna subscribe to purity, but um, there are certain things that I'm just like, I bought it because of this, what's going on? <laughs> um, so, you know, on their website, they say that they're, they're completely 100% vegan and cruelty free. However, the digital bonus this month, um, two problems with it. Well, one, one was a giveaway problem. One was the actual product itself. So I downloaded it because it was, you know, my digital, whatever. It's a Ayurved, Ayurvedic, I can never say that word, guide for autumn. It promotes using animal products um, in a recipe as well as a shopping list. And whether or not you agree with me, I chose to buy a subscription from a company that is vegan and free so at least that digital product should have been updated to not have those products suggested at least that's how I feel um the other thing is they had a giveaway and you can like get a free course or something from that same company who made the digital like handout whatever guide but also why would I enter a giveaway to win a free course that is going to suggest me eating animal products. I went onto their Facebook, their Instagram page, and they do suggest animal products on their um, thing. So it's like, it's one thing to maybe get it from a company that, you know, maybe this company does have other products that have, you know, animal, I don't actually know. Um, I'm not trying to say they do. So I'm not trying to say they do. But what if this company 
does have products that have animal products in them. You sent me this item, so I'm okay with that. Um, but you sent me a digital guide that is not aligned to why I bought the subscription box. So I did email them. If I get an update by the time that I'm editing this, I will add it. Otherwise, I may wait for another box. I may give them another chance, but I may also cancel my subscription. I'm not sure. I'm just a little upset about that. And in the past, I would have just like let it go. But I have been a little more vocal lately in certain things that kind of upset me in certain ways, especially when I'm giving you my money every month. Like if you're saying you're the subscription box and all of that's what I said. I think subscription box and all the items um, are 100% vegan and cruelty free. Yet one digital item that you gave to us is not. There's there's a disconnect there, and I it makes me kind of wonder about the other products sometimes. You know. So that's my little problem with them. I'm hoping that they hear me out, and I'm hoping that they do change that um, because I do, have loved. All the other boxes I've gotten so far, um, they're you know they're pretty good with their customer service. If something breaks, um, the crystal issue is. I just wish they didn't show a bigger crystal because that's not fair. They should show the size that we get. But other than that, I do like this box. I do love everything that comes in it. I've been given a lot of things in there that I used for my own self care. So I would love to continue the subscription. So if you see another unboxing next month, then I kept it either by giving them a chance or um, some other reason, and maybe I'll explain it in that video. But if you don't, <laughs> this was my very first and last unboxing, there you have it. But I, I'm actually very interested in these products, these companies, they're all different companies. They don't have to do, they, they partnered with uh, Goddess Provision. So they're, they're not Goddess Provision. Uh, I don't know where they get their crystals, honestly. Um, Especially they say this one's eleven dollar value. Yeah, I don't see that. I've I've gotten one around this big that wasn't anywhere near eleven dollars. But maybe because it's a point. But anyways, so I don't know where they get their crystals, but everything else is from you know other companies that they're getting together. Hopefully you can buy more for some stuff from them later. There's some things that I'm actually going to buy from other companies and support them because I did like getting that item in the box. So but that said is very hot in here because um i have air conditioning off because otherwise it's really loud it's in the corner so i'm going to say goodbye for now and look out for the next video and i hope you have a great day